All right, Peter Beatty here. Welcome to another daily vlog. All right, so today's topic is kind of a funny one, and it's all about our exotic car owners douchebags. So I get this question all the time, and I have a feeling that it's uh, the way that a lot of people who aren't in the exotic car community feel about people who own exotic cars, Lambos, Ferraris, whatever. So keep in mind as you're watching this video, um, I grew up as a quote unquote poor person, okay? Let's just put it that way. I grew up in trailer parks, low income housing, I put myself through community college and uh, basically worked my way up, right, to where to where I am now. Um, I wasn't just born into, you know, a wealthy family or something like that. Fast forward to today, I'm driving a Lamborghini, I own a Lamborghini, and with that comes with meeting a lot of other Lamborghini owners and other people who own exotic cars. And when that happens, right, you get to experience what that world is really like that you never knew of before. You know, it was so mysterious. You know, you grow up wanting a Lamborghini and everyone who owns a Lamborghini seems like some superhero to you, some person that is just untouchable and, and perfect and can't do possibly anything wrong and just lives in this fantasy world, right? And then when you finally get there, you get to see what it's really like. So what is it really like? All right, so to answer the question straight up, are exotic car owners douchebags? Well, not all of them, okay? So, I've, what I've found out is, you know, coming from the regular car community, like you have these, the regular car community um, in your area. For us, we are in Southern Maine, we have the regular car community, right? Subarus are really popular here, tuners are really popular, and if you go to a local car meet, that's what you see a lot of. Now, most of these people are great, right? But you're always gonna have that small percentage of people who are who just are stuck up or have attitudes or, or whatever. Well, guess what? It's the same exact thing in the exotic car community. There's no different, right? You don't just all of a sudden go talk to somebody with a Lamborghini and they're just a stuck up douchebag. That is very rare. Um, I've met probably out of the hundreds of people I've met over the past year who own exotic cars, I've met probably two to three people who are just annoying stuck up douchebags, right? Two to three, max. And the rest of the people I've met are mostly all just average, hardworking people, right? Uh, pretty much all of them own businesses. Pretty much all of them, most of them are self-made and um, you know they respect hard work and they've worked for the car that they have. That's my findings anyway. And I've also found out that people in the exotic car community are also more loyal. They're more accepting of other people, other cars, and other lifestyles, if you will. Someone with a Lamborghini, right, if we were going on a cruise or something like that, and someone with, let's say, a Subaru wanted to cruise with us, guess what? They wouldn't say anything about it. They would accept them into our group and say, yeah, cruise with us. Let's flip the tables a little bit and let's talk about the regular car community. I found more people in the regular car community, a higher percentage of people who are less accepting of people with expensive cars, okay? So let's say we're on, I've been on car cruises in the past or I've gone to car meets in the past with this car, you know, regular car meets with like, you know, regular cars, tuner cars, muscle cars, whatever, and guess what? You're instantly not accepted. Now, not by everyone, a lot of people love exotic cars, but you're gonna have those car enthusiasts who, who are only, they only like Toyota Supras, or they only like uh, Japanese tuner cars, and everything else is a piece of shit. Or you have the muscle car owner who, oh, I only like Mustangs, everything else sucks, right? You don't see that in the exotic car world, all right? You don't see it at all. Like, Ferrari drivers aren't driving, well, actually, some Ferrari drivers do drive around thinking their shit doesn't stink and that their car is better than everyone else's, but for the most part, you don't see exotic car owners driving around and thinking like that. Like, if uh, you're at a Lamborghini meet and a McLaren pulls in, right, Lamborghini owners aren't like, oh, look at this asshole coming in and his McLaren thinks he's better than everyone else, right? You don't see that. So, just a quick little vlog. Um, you know, despite what you may think and what, right, society kind of breeds into us from, you know, the very beginning, 
um, exotic car owners aren't douchebags, right? They're just regular people, um, you know, just like just like everyone else. And if they're in car, if they're car enthusiasts, which most of them probably are, they're just like every other car enthusiast. They just drive a more expensive car. So next time you see a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or any other type of exotic, and you're afraid to go talk to the owner, don't be. Because in my experience, these people aren't really as judgmental and as douchey as you may think. Um, so keep that in mind and try to be more accepting of other people, other car enthusiasts and things like that. Just because someone drives a car that you know, is not really your thing, why should you try to hate on that person and think that you're better than them, right? If you drive a Mustang, why should you hate on Subaru owners? If you drive a Subaru, why should you hate on exotic car owners and vice versa? If you drive an exotic, why should you hate on someone who doesn't have an exotic? You just shouldn't. All right, so if you like this random video, go ahead and press the like button to let me know. I'll make more videos just like it. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to get notified whenever I make new videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.